Hello, everybody. My name is Robert Evans. Welcome to the uh, Entrepreneurs International Network uh, training that we do once a week with uh, business experts from all over the world. Um, uh, my name is Robert Evans. I'm co-founder of a, a technology company called Action Era that has now has Entrepreneurs International Network under our umbrella of companies. And uh, and I'm, I'm very um, excited to introduce you to uh, someone very, very special. Uh, this is a kind of a unique, um, a, a unique training because um, not only are we, am I bringing someone on who is a, a proficient and brilliant um, business leader uh, and leader of leaders, uh, but he's also the founder of Entrepreneurs International Network. He's the one that started this whole thing uh, many, many years ago, and he's my business partner in our the technology company of Action Era. So we've got, uh, this is a very special uh, special uh, training here today because of who is here. And so a lot of you already know him. And for those of you that don't know him, let me introduce him to you right now. Um, the amazing Iman Agai. Iman, it's oh. good to have you here, bud. Thank you very much, brother, for having me here. It's awesome to be here. Yeah. So Iman and I are not only partners in Action Era and a, a few other companies that Action Era has uh, acquired over the last couple of years since we've partnered together here, but we are also going to be co-host of this uh, series of trainings that's happening each week. Most of the time, you're going to see me on here interviewing different business experts on a variety of different topics, and occasionally we'll have the pleasure of uh, of Iman um, doing his training. So. Uh, or him doing his hosting. So I want to kind of jump in and and um, and get started here right away with Iman and the topic that we want to hear discuss here today. Uh, Im uh, Iman, you're um, I mean you're a jack of all trades. You've been first off. I guess the first question that I have for you is how long have you been doing this? I know that uh, you've been doing this for a very very long time. And how long ago? Did you start EIN? And then we're going to kind of transition into the topic of that we're here to discuss today. Uh, yeah, great question, actually. I started Entrepreneurs International Network back in the day, about 14 years ago, with the first branch called Vancouver Business Network. At the time that I started it, I wasn't thinking about like building an international group. I was thinking of uh, creating a local group in Vancouver. And so I think it was... April or February 2010 that I started Vancouver Business Network and um and then and then in 2012 we expanded to Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto and, and um and a couple of other cities and then um and then in 2016 it actually got expanded to five countries and about 60 cities early 2020 we kind of started having more focus in North America because making all different hours was very hard. So if we were doing something with the North American time, then Australians couldn't come and, uh, or we could make the North America and um, and Europe work, but then I could, we could anyway, so there's always something going weird with, uh, with different chapters. So we ended up having the groups uh, to be mostly North American to be easier to um, to handle all the groups. And uh, kind of right now we are in 15 cities. Now, I gotta say this because we had to relaunch. So today is actually the second time that we are relaunching uh, Entrepreneurs International Network. And we're kind of in a test mode at the moment. Um, for uh, for the next couple of weeks with the EIN, making sure that we actually have everything and all of our pieces together, making sure all of our reports work and all of our automations and systems work. So I'm glad to be here because I usually don't get to uh, be one of the guests, uh, but I think like during the test time, uh, you guys have me as a guest. So that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, so, uh, that's amazing. And I know that Entrepreneurs International Network grew into a very large network of people all over the world. I think it, it reached to nearly 100,000 um, business wow. owners uh, from around the world. And and we're now looking to reach out to them and bring these, you know, these brilliant people that we get to work with in a variety of different capacities in our business. Um, so it's like kind of like 
well, we know them, we know how amazing they are. And now, now we want to bring them to, you know, as many entrepreneurs as possible. Today, though, we want to focus in on a particular uh, topic that um, is very, um, it's kind of, uh, I would say, probably it's very fresh in your mind, <laughs> first off, right? And and I'll, I'll have you explain what, I, what do I mean by that? Um, but it's also um, a topic that I think has been a foundational uh, element of your business over the years in building your business to your multiple businesses to seven figure companies and, and that sort of thing. And that is um, basically speaking, right? Speaking on stages, speaking in podcasts, speaking in interviews or trainings like we're doing here today and that sort of thing. How did, uh, why, why did we choose this topic here today? How does it relate to some of the new things that you've been involved in and are um, uh, wanting to bring people into? Yeah, so um, the reality is that one of the greatest ways of expanding your business and sharing your message is landing stages, uh, events, uh, talks, podcasts, seminars, conferences, and, uh, and things like that. And when I look back at the core of most of my successful businesses, um, most of my businesses uh, started or um, expanded by using public speaking. And, and the public speaking was either done through an actual event and a physical stage where we flew to that city and delivered or through appearing on a podcast or through a virtual stage or through even recorded videos that go through a funnel. And many people don't recognize that as like, don't realize that that's also a big deal on even having all these pieces of content that's gonna be on social media and online as great uh, opportunities for public speaking. So even if you have your own mobile app and you have your own videos and you put them on your app, that app is allowing you to have a stage for other people without you needing to do the talks live, but as a pre-recorded talk. And um, and so anyways, one way or another, public speaking in many different shapes or forms have, uh, have enabled me to expand my businesses. And so that's why I always talk to people about how to land the stages, how to land podcasts, how to land summit presentations, and how to grow their business by uh, by doing that. You know, what's really interesting about this topic and this focus is before you and I were business partners, I attended a live event of yours. It was the last live event you did before COVID. And I, I, I know you remember this. Yeah, <laughs> February, February 2020. Right? Yeah. Uh, it was in Las Vegas and um, we really didn't know each other that well. We knew of each other and we were, uh, we were just starting to kind of explore a business relationship. And I remember there was a moment during that event that you said, you said something, I'm like, oh my God, this is the missing piece of a puzzle for my business. You said, and you were in your training and I'm, you correct me, I'm sure I'm not saying it properly here, but you said something along the lines, of, if you want to build a successful business online or, you know, the type of business that we do, an expert, you know, based business, then every week you need to be on some stage. Yep. Every, you know, so you have to be on at least four stages in the, in, in the month. And if you can be on more, you know, obviously the more stages and the stage, like you said, is not just a physical stage. It could be a virtual stage or a, or a, you know, summit or podcast or, or whatever. And the truth is what we know, you know, in working with experts is that the great majority of people aren't doing that. And when you do look at the people that are doing that, they're the ones that are having the success. Remember the, uh, I remember the phrase success leaves clues. Look at yeah. the people that are successful and they're the ones that are getting on the stages there. So, yes. um, so, okay. Now with this idea, okay, how do we, how do you get booked on stages? How do you consistently find, how do you get that once a week opportunity to put your message in front of people or your offer in front of people? What are some of the ideas or strategies that for that? Yeah, so uh, step one would be identifying what type of stages you are interested in at different stages of your business and your public speaking career. So some people 
are not interested to do podcasts. Some people are not interested to do summits. Some people are not interested to do large conferences. Some people are not interested. So, so a part of that is identifying what are the things that you are interested in and what are the things that you are not interested in. Because if you deal with like a big tangled spaghetti of the opportunities, you can't find any opportunity at all. So first you need to understand your options and then understand which one of these options you are interested in at this particular stage. And probably every three months, you go back and review and identify which ones uh, you want to keep looking for and which ones you want to add to that list and which ones you want to remove. So if I want to categorize them, I would categorize the stages as um, stages that allow you with getting collaborative traffic. So for example, stages such as podcasts, provide you collaborate traffic, meaning that if you have podcast and you want to get a lot of people on your podcast, the best strategy to find those people to come and subscribe to your podcast is actually going on other podcasts and an interview and then invite people to go and subscribe to your podcast. And that's a great way of building your relationship. So if, for example, you have an Instagram account that you want to expand your Instagram account, but the majority of your focus on the Instagram account is, um, is, is pure content, one of the greatest ways of expanding this is collaborating with other Instagrammers and, and then creating collaborative content with them, okay? So part of that comes with what are the things that you are doing in your business and you want to lead more people toward it? If, for example, you are planning to do a three-day event and, and you are looking for other people who go to three-day events, landing stages of other people's three-day events and inviting those people to your three-day event would be probably one of the greatest strategies. Why? because the people that are attending somebody else's three-day events are people that are event goers. And if they're event goers, if they've, come, if they've gone to one event, there's a higher chance that they go to another event. We call that uh, the change of the media, okay? So if you go to a podcast and invite people to come to a three-day in-person event in Vancouver, probably you're gonna have much less chance of getting people that are listening to that podcast to come to a three-day live event in Vancouver. Then if you go to another three-day live event in Vancouver and you speak there and invite people to come to your three-day event, okay? So, um, so that's one thing is what are the media that you are interested to expand in your business and can you find similar uh, type of media that you want to speak at and, and identify what those are, okay? Now, sometimes we will say, Iman, but I don't have my podcast. I don't have my summits. I don't have my events. What about me? Well, then you are in a great position because you have the choice of uh, pretty much any of these, but you have to hand select them based on your level of comfort and your experience. What I mean by this is if you are... If, if, if you don't have any of those media yourself, like you, you, you're not a podcast there, you're not planning to do a webinar or multiple webinars, you're not planning to do three-day events, then what you're looking at is, uh, is identifying your call to action. So what's the call to action at the end of your talk? Is your call to action inviting people to download the gift? And the thank you page of downloading that gift is inviting people to book a one-on-one -on -one call with you to have a conversation about hiring you as a business owner, as a, like as a mentor, as a coach, as a consultant, whatever it is. Then if that's the call to action, then pretty much you can go to all podcasts that allow you to have a gift call to action, okay? Some allow you to have a gift call to action, some don't, right? Or for example, if you have a list and, and you are willing to promote the events you're speaking at to that list, 
then probably you can go to summits because majority of summits will require you to promote that summit to your list. Okay. And if you are going to sell something directly from your talk, which again requires you to have a practice selling from stage, requires you to have a high converting landing page and a sales page and a checkout page and requires you to know uh, who your exact target market is and, and, and to what price level you're comfortable with selling. Um, and, and, then, and, and, and then it comes to the question is that, can you take the revenue share deals or can you do sponsorship deals? Those are two very important things. Can you explain those two, two, two things? Absolutely. So when you are going somewhere and you are selling directly from the stage, there are generally two type of deals that you can make with the host. And there is a third type, which is a reciprocation. But let's talk about the major two types. So one is a, you would call it a revenue share, which means that you show up, you offer your $1,000, $2,000 program. And then at the end of offering, uh, you, you share 30%, 40%, 50% of each sale with the person who had you on their stage, right? So that person is usually called the promoter or the event host uh, or event organizer. So the event organizer puts you on their stage, you present at the end, you sell, and you give them anywhere between 30 to 50%, depending on the deal you made with them uh, to, uh, uh, for their services of putting you on their stage. Or there are the type where you can do sponsorship deals, where the sponsorship deals, you pay upfront for that stage, but you do not pay any percentage of your sales. So majority of uh, experienced speakers prefer sponsor the stages. Why? Because they know that if they're going to speak in front of 100 people, and um, and if it's a hundred hundred attendees for a virtual event, depending on the structure of the event, that sponsorship can be anywhere between three thousand to seven thousand dollars, sometimes ten thousand dollars. But they know if they are speaking at, in front of hundred people, paying ten thousand dollars for a sponsorship to speak in front of these hundred people. But if they can convert forty people at two thousand dollar level, they're gonna make eighty thousand dollars. So instead of paying 30% or 50% of the $80,000, they rather pay 10K and just keep the entire $80,000 to themselves. Now, sometimes people say, but Iman, how do I know? Well, if you're asking how you know, you're not at a place that you're ready for doing sponsorships because it means that you have not experienced um, uh, speaking in front of different stages, calculating your conversion rates, knowing the type of audiences you're looking for and what's the value of different levels of stages for you, right? So a lot so, of newbies will start off, you know, figuring that out by offering a percentage exactly. and seeing kind of where it lands from there. Yeah, in practice. Exactly, practice right. Yeah, and, and again, so that's why, like depending on the stage that you are in as a public speaker, and the type of stages that interest you, you need to first clarify that. Many people may begin from podcasts and summits. Why? Because podcasts are easier to land and they allow you to organize your content. They allow you to have conversations like Robert and I are having right now and allow you to um, to, to get asked different type of questions, answer them differently, find your, uh, uh, I don't know, find your, uh, find, find your, find your message as the result of the conversations as questions that you get while you get yourself trained on how to present to sell from the stage and how to show up and how to talk and all of those type of things. Summits also are great because summits allow you, depending on the structure of summits, some summits allow you to present and some summits allow you to do interviews only. But if you are attending a summit where you can present, they allow, they give you a low pressure stage 
where you can just simply show up, you can simply present. There are going to be only like 10, 15, 20 people in the audience. And then and, and, and that, that allows you to practice your talks and, and see uh, what you are good at, what you're bad at, and give you some mailing list building experience. So build your list. Um, and gives you some, some quality leads. And from those summits, usually you can invite people to book a one-on-one -on -one call with you uh, or give them a gift, which is a great way for you to test your funnel. And when you become more serious, then that's the time that you're looking at stages of seminars, conferences, events. And then you're looking at... Uh, a, uh, uh, different types of presentations, whether they are uh, sponsorship stages or they are revenue share stages or they are reciprocal stages. Now, let me just talk a little bit about reciprocal stages. The reciprocal stages are stages where you, um, you can reciprocate. So you have a stage and they have a stage and you put them on your stage and that's how you give them the reciprocal stage. So you swap the stage with them. Now, speaking of a call to actions and a call to action specifically to a funnel or, or a landing page, what is a secret that you have on um, uh, landing, um, you know, or that it, with the actual landing pages or the funnel, that sort of thing to get uh, uh, the, the people to, you know, if they're interested from you, do they just immediately go and opt in or is there stuff that you have to do? Because you could see the fancy, detailed, long form type uh, pages and then there are the simple ones. What do you what do you suggest there? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the greatest tips about the landing pages of your gifts after your talks is dedicate your talk to talk about things that people can find in the gift that you provide them at the end. Okay. So for example, right now, as we are doing this, we're going to talk about the importance of relationships uh, in landing stages and summits and seminars, right? And just so happens that we do a monthly event that usually a ticket tweet is $97, but I'm going to gift it to people that are right now live with us that they can come and join us for this meeting. And people who are watching the recording can join us for the next one, right? So... Uh, the, the gift that you're going to give to people who are listening to your interview should be kind of a no-brainer part of if people want to take action and actually get results from what you are sharing with them, um, they can find it in the gift. Uh, so, for example, for years and years, one of my programs was a program on online course creation, and we had this webinar that would explain all the pieces of online course creation steps in details. Now, of course, if I would go on a 10 minute interview, I couldn't talk about all the steps. So I consistently referred to this webinar that they are getting as part of this interview. And I said, when you sign up for this webinar that I'm gonna give you at the end, you get access to all the details of the steps, but unfortunately I don't have the time to talk about all the steps right now, but you get it for free at the end of this, right? Yeah, so now here's something real quick because you said something I think this is really powerful because I see you do this, that I consider this to be very effective that a lot of people don't do. A lot of people when they do um, an interview or talk or whatever, they do that and then they don't have any mention of or uh, or have the invite till the end to whatever it is that they have to offer, whatever that call to action is. Now, what I've learned from you and what I've seen you do brilliantly and that I think uh, a lot of people don't think about is you mentioned that right at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's like, you, uh, I think you call it opening the loop, right? You're, right? you're opening the loop and they're anticipating that loop being closed, which is, hey, I'm going to invite you to this. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I think that's really powerful to get people to stay, listen, be engaged, and then want more at the end when you give them that. Yeah, absolutely. So um, 
uh, you can you can open so so let's talk about opening loops and closing loops and then so opening loops and closing loops is a standard public speaking technique right so anybody that is trained to a certain level at public speaking like officially trained not watched other people who do public speaking and think that they're a speaker but actually have gone through public speaking programs and classes and everything they get introduced to opening loops and closing loops technique which um, technically what it is, is um, at one point of your talk, you talk about something that you are going to complete at the end of your talk. And you can open, and, and when you start talking about it, that calls opening the loop. And when you finish that loop at the very end or somewhere in the middle, that's called closing the loop. And during one talk, you can open probably 25 loops and close all the 25 loops at the end. But advanced public speaking technique for increasing conversion rates on your gift is opening some loops that they get closed by getting access to the gift. The call to action, right? Yeah. So. For example, right now, I already opened the loop that I said, if you want to land on the stages and podcasts and summits, one of the greatest ways is connections and relationships with the hosts of podcasts and summits. And I'm going to give a gift where you can come to our event called Influencer Circle to build that connection with some hosts of podcast events and summits. Well, the only way for me to close that loop is if you come to the event, come to that event, right? And I'm giving it to you as a gift. So um, so I'm literally like opening the loop right now and close the, the loop gets closed when you take action on the gift. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is uh that's the greatest or like one of the greatest ways or for example like when i was talking about my webinar right i would talk about like well there are eight steps to online course creation step one is choosing your topic and target market unfortunately i can't go to the details of it because we only have 10 minutes however when you watch our 90 minute webinar for free it teaches you exactly how to choose a topic and target market. And step two is doing a specific call, a specific type of market research called Imaze Golden Questions. And when you watch the entire 90 minute training, we tell you exactly what those eight golden questions are. But when you do the eight golden questions, you will understand exactly what, uh, uh, what you need to put in your package. You exactly know how much you need to price it and you build a list of your potential buyers. So, then I would get to the end and everybody's like, just give me the damn link for the webinar, right? So then I was like, okay, so here is the link to the webinar. And that's why we were seeing on the landing page, 84% conversion rate for the webinar. So a regular webinar conversion rate might be 50 or 55%, but people that were going from an interview with me to the landing page wanted that webinar so badly that 84%, we had it up to 92% of people who landed on the landing page after a podcast interview or a summit interview that wanted to go and just get that training and watch the training. Of course, in the training, we're making a paid offer that if you want to go through this course and study it with us in the next six weeks, then it's a $2,000 course, right? But it, it just that whole like, building the loops that like opening the loops that were getting closed in the gift and the gift was extremely valuable uh, uh and and it, it just plays a very important like for example like the influencer circle at the end of this is extremely valuable right so providing something that is super valuable and then uh, making sure that you refer to that valuable thing um and and have ways to monetize the gift so yeah another thing is you can also provide the gift and on the thank you page of the gift you can have a video that has this magical sentence i wasn't planning actually to talk about this but now that we are here might as well right so uh so there's this magical sentence that has generated hundreds of thousands of dollars for me over the years of my business and the sentence is this, 
If you don't have a mentor who can take your hand and walk you every step of the way to do blah, 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 whatever it is that you teach them, then go to an application URL on your website, okay? And fill in the application form to see if one of our mentorship program is a great match for you. So for example, if I'm a weight loss coach, if you don't have a mentor who can take your hand and walk you every step of the way during your weight loss journey, go to amazingweightloss.com for a slash apply. By the way, that website doesn't exist. I'm just like making shit up, but go to amazingweightloss.com for slash apply and apply to see if one of my mentorship programs for our weight loss coaching can help you to lose your uh, help you in your journey to lose weight. Now, the interesting thing, this person just listened to a podcast or watched an interview on a summit. Then they went on a landing page where you give the, gave them a gift, which is, for example, uh, uh, what three type of food you should not mix. Okay, so then they put their name and email, phone number, they downloaded that, and on the thank you page, it says, hey, thank you very much for requesting the three types of food you should avoid if you want to lose weight. I've already emailed it to you, but in the meantime, if you don't have a mentor who can take your hand and walk you every step of the way, I want to I wanna, I wanna invite you to apply to a mentorship program with me, right? So now... You are having a person who listened to your interview, who already knows you, already downloaded your gift, and is being invited to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. Wow, so awesome. now that conversation, you can invite them to either invest in your one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, or if they can't afford it, go through your group program or, or automated course and everything. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that we talked about, uh, you know, when you get on those stages, whatever that looks like and that that starting that that out with the intention of you know giving people the anticipation they're going to get something very valuable and then know they're going to get it valuable you don't need to surprise them in the end you can tell them in the be in the beginning i'm going to give you something really valuable at the end so there's this anticipate uh anticipatory you know feeling and excitement about that, which I think is what really happens with people. And then they land on that page and they get that gift and then they get that other opportunity to engage with you. It's brilliant. Now, I love that. However, people got to get on stages. So what does a speaker need to do to consistently, like you said, what you said to before, you know, get on at least one stage a week, more if you can, right? What right. does a speaker need to do to consistently land stages? Right. So uh, when you identify the type of stages that you want to be on, then it's time to start doing the research about finding who are the people or where you can find those people. Are, right. So, for example, if you want to be on podcast, then you need a resource where you can find like all the podcasters that are looking for guests. OK. And that's the key, like all the podcasters that are looking for guests or uh, you need to do research if you want to go on seminars and conferences find the seminars and conferences within your topic and the target market and then find events and seminars and conferences that are looking for speakers right and then i know find find the link and everything so uh how to do this uh, the harder way of doing this is of course going to google and start Googling, right? And start like uh, finding the list of podcasts and then go and check every single podcast and then uh, see if they have guests. And if they have guests, do they accept guest applications? Um, and, and, and this is an important thing. Not everybody who has a guest accept guest applications. Certain programs that have guests only accept guests by their invitation not by guests applying to them okay so they reach out to the guest and say like we want so just because somebody has a guest doesn't mean that they are looking for uh, applications of guests so 
so what you are looking for is you are looking for uh, podcasts or events that are accepting um, uh, uh, applications for guest speakers and guests, right? Um, so that's a hard way of doing it, uh, requires hours and hours and hours. And even if you want to outsource this to a virtual assistant who charges five bucks an hour out of Philippines, that uh, virtual assistant most likely going to spend about 100 hours a month to be able to consistently source these things for you, right? So it requires time, it requires energy. So the easier way of doing this is that there are companies that do the research and provide you the lists themselves. And, and there are different ones that they do it only for conferences. And there are the ones that are doing only for podcasts. So there is one that only does it for podcasts and is about $2,500 a year. And um, and it just provides a list of all podcasters that are looking for guests. Okay, and then um, and then there is another one that does it for only events, and the ones that that does it for us. So um, so there are the ones that are specialized, and and they provide you the list, so you can go through the list and you can easily find them, and then you can apply. Okay, and there is the ones that are very few between them. Uh, are the ones that provide you the list of all of these things. So they provide you a list of all the upcoming seminars, conferences, and events. Uh, they are uh, as well as podcasts, as well as summits and giveaways, as well as list of associations, organizations, and venues. So you, you become a member of one group, and that one group provides you the list of all of those things, which is what we have built in next gen Influ in next gen collaboration circle so in next gen collaboration circle which is one of the companies that we have uh, we have we provide the list of all the upcoming seminars and conferences all the upcoming podcasts that are looking for guests all the upcoming summits that are looking for guests including the link to the application for the uh, for the speakers and the link for the app uh, for uh, the email address for uh, for the host of those events and podcasts and everything. And we we technically have done the same thing that anybody else would do. So we have hired a team of researchers that are doing the research every single day. But then, uh, but then instead of people paying for the entire research team, they just pay a very small portion for for getting a membership. And so we do the entire research and they just pay a small fee, which would be cheaper than if they wanted to hire all these virtual assistants uh, to do it for them. Um, but one very important piece to all of this is actually having connections with the hosts. So what we noticed is that even though we are through the next gen collaboration circle, we're providing people the list of 4,000 upcoming seminars and conferences, about 120 podcasts every single month that are looking for guests, as well as the list of about 100 summits and about 20, 30 giveaways that are coming up. The one missing part to this is having connection with that host. Because if you're somewhere and you meet the host of a podcast, if you meet the host of a summit who is looking for guests, of course, it's 10 times easier to land it than you are just one record that shows on a Google sheet that says this person filled in an application. Or right? an email to just send to that person randomly. Yeah. Right, exactly. Or an email that God knows like how it's even worded or, or if it hits the right things or right. But if you meet the person, it's a different thing. So that's why inside the uh, Next Gen Collaboration Circle, we started also doing events called Next Gen Influencer Circle, which is my gift, by the way, to anybody that is here with us, where you get to go on a call where you will have the hosts of summits, conferences, events, and all of those things are attending those events. And then we put people into smaller groups to network 
with a host of summits, events, and organizations, and all of those things, and then they meet each other, and they're like, oh my God, you're speaking on this topic. I would love to have you as a guest on my podcast. And just so interesting enough, many of these guest speakers, many of these speakers that are looking for, speech, uh, for, for opportunities, they have their own podcast, they have their own summits. So many of our attendees, are not only are they looking for speaking opportunities, but they also are providers of speaking opportunities. So we, we bring them together, they're influencers, and that's why it's called the influencer circle. We bring all these influencers together and they meet with each other, they connect with each other, and they uh, they put each other on, on oh. each other's stages and summits and conferences. So a person can come to this, It's it, it, it feels almost like, I mean, I, I know, the concept, I mean, which really revolves around a lot of what we do with collaborate, but it's like a, mm -hmm. it's like we're you're dating. It's like a dating, uh, you know, speed dating, right? Um, you're you're figuring out how are we gonna uh, we're gonna work together here. But you get you get all these people together into these rooms to connect with each other around what they do and the um and the ways that they reach out you get, and they get to know each other, and in that conversation, that natural conversation to the next step of by the way. I, you know, I have this thing that I could, you know, if you do a podcast, if you would ever want me to be on your stage, or by the way, I really like what you're about. Would you like to be on my podcast? So it can go, it can go either way, whether you're asking because you started to develop that relationship and their connection with them, or they're asking of you. I love that. That's brilliant because I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've seen the list, right? And of course, you know, the what goes through everybody's mind, including my own, is that, okay, well, I got the list and I got these emails and I got this person's name. Now what do I do? And I throw out 50 of them and I don't get any responses or I get a couple, you know, back. What you're talking about is, you know, going on that first date first, <laughs> yeah. you know, in I, that circle. And then that conversation is a lot easier and it translates into something. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like last month, we had a person who walked away with seven interviews, like seven things getting booked, right? And so we were talking about if you get on one of these once a month, once a week, right? So you attend one of these events and you find like five, six, seven, eight speaking opportunities. And then next week you go to an, uh, next month, you go to the, another one. And then in a couple of hours, you find you know, another like three, four opportunities. And then next month you just go to another one, right? And you just uh, consistently book yourself on podcasts and events. And, and, and again, it, you, 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 you decide to like at one point you say, oh, I'm starting with podcasts and summits. And then later on, you're like, I'm looking for serious stages. Mm -hmm. And so um, your, your, uh, your take changes as you and, and what you're looking for changes over time and these opportunities suddenly start becoming more meaningful that when you go to an event you're like hey I'm, I'm looking for an event to sponsor and suddenly like three people raise their hand they're like oh I have an event I'm looking for a sponsor great yeah. See? and so but but that's the evolution of a speaker and a requirement to have access to all of these different types of yeah. things. So I can see I can see a really hungry speaker go in and look through the list of uh, opportunities there and reach out to them. And rather than reaching out to them and saying, hey, can I be on your podcast or can I be on your stage? Rather than doing that, say, hey, I'd really like to meet you. Would you like to meet in the influencer circle? Right. Because yeah. I could, you know, and we can that the influencer circle facilitates that relationship connection. So it doesn't mean that you necessarily only can, you know, uh, have to go, oh, it's only the people that show up here. Invite people to show up there that you really want to be on their stages. And that's great magic. That's exactly actually how it is. So when people uh, register for a ticket to Influencer Circle, it actually invites them to become affiliates of it. Mm -hmm. And then in, in, in the next stage, it tells them, hey, you know, like if, if there are people that you want to speak on their stage, just send them an email and say like, hey, I have a VIP ticket for you. I have a gift VIP ticket. I would love to see you at this event. And we allow our affiliates to provide a gift VIP ticket. Um, 
how many of these people come to the event and become members and and if they don't at least you facilitate you give them a gift and i mean there is it's just win 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 all around for for everybody involved and so uh influencer circle has actually become an amazing 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 platform and uh it has great backup uh I, I like not backup but back end system to it uh, beside connecting people, it also provides them a lot of information, a lot of data, a lot of like super quality things. And yeah. You know what's just happened, Iman? Yes. Is now I haven't been on the influencer circle. It's new, right? And you know, I've got other things other than what we do together. Um, what Here's what's happened. I am experiencing what you said would happen. And that is, I'm now at the point now, I'm like, where do I go to sign up for this? So I want I want to do this, you know, because I I see the value in this. I'm like I'm personally, you know, so excited about showing up in those circles to find those people for everything that I do. Okay, how how do we do it? How do people do it? Come on, man, where's the gift? <laughs> awesome. So uh, so here's one thing. So we are recording this on October fifteenth of twenty twenty four, right? And just so happens that there is one event on October 16th, uh, 2024. So it's literally tomorrow. And so if you are live with us, come and join us tomorrow. And I put the link for you in the chat box, which is nextgeninfluencerscircle.com. And when you go there, you see that there is a $97 VIP ticket and a free ticket. So my gift to you is the VIP ticket, not the, not the free ticket, okay? And you need to use a coupon code, and the coupon code is Inner Circle Pass. Inner Circle Pass. And when you use the Inner Circle Pass on the VIP ticket, your $97 ticket becomes free. You can use that code only once, and, uh, and, and then you can come and sign up for tomorrow and come and hang out with us tomorrow. But if you are watching this at any other time, like next week or any other day, Technically, you can go and sign up for that month in, in Influencer Circle with the same code because that code stays the same and that link stays the same, right? So just if you're watching us, I don't know, in February 2025, still go to nextgeninfluencerscircle.com, use a coupon code in your circle pass, and then sign up to it and come and join us for uh, the next influencers circle and um and hang out with us for three hours where we connect you with the host of summits uh, podcasts events um associations organizations venues if you have a summit podcast event whatever it is uh come and come and attend one and 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 we give you stage to introduce yourself and tell people all about your work and find the stages. Everybody gets access to the director, like all the VIP members get access to the uh, list of all the attendees, uh, one of the event they are attending. Of course, if you are a member, uh, because you also can become a member, uh, and, and when you become a member, then you can attend all of them, of course, and you get access to all the attendees and everything. So anyways, we are very, very excited about uh, the entire next gen uh, company about the way that we are helping people to land the stages and summits and conferences and all of those things and um and uh yeah this is a amazing 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 platform for people to connect it it truly is and i just i do want to reiterate that lesson that i learned from you a long time ago um and that is if you are really serious about building your business especially if you're an expert author, speaker, coach, you know, you know, someone uh, that has a transformational message that they want to bring out to the world and you want to leverage, you know, the virtual space or the physical space that we're now, you know, doing more and more of, then it's really important for you to get on stages consistently. It's really important for you to set a goal to be in some kind of stage at least once a week and as maybe more if, it, if your schedule allows and it's also really important for you not to waste your time, your energy, and your money trying to do it all yourself, especially if there is things that are in place like NextGen Collaboration um, and the uh, NextGen um, Collaboration Circle 
in place for you to go to and experience and all the works that has been done for you. Um, I just, um, um, you know, I know that I'm, <laughs> I'm one of the ones that's kind of, you know, a part of this, but I'm also one that's been detached from this too. And now, you know, and just having a real clear understanding of how powerful and big this is, is just really special. So Iman, what, what would you like to leave people with here uh, today as we close up here? Um, well, the most important thing is this consistent action, consistent daily or weekly action. Uh, give two to five hours a week uh, and, and get yourself a membership to a company like Next Gen Collaboration Circle and get access to all these upcoming seminars, conferences, summits, and all of those things. And every day or, or two to five hours a week, doesn't matter if you do it in one week, one day a week or like half an hour a day, right? Um, apply for landing the stages, summits, podcasts, and those two type of things that work for you and, 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 and build your business. Because if every time that you are on a stage and you have the correct strategy, if every time that you land on a stage and you have correct strategy, you generate $5,000 or $3,000 or $2,000 and you do it once a week, uh, that's extra $100,000 a year. Now, I don't know if you have the correct strategy or not, but if you land on a stage on a podcast every single week, I promise you, you start looking for the right strategy. I promise you, you start thinking, okay, what gift can I give people? Can I create that page that Iman said about inviting them to book a call with me? And, you know, imagine like just having every week, two, three, five people book a call to talk to you about hiring you as their coach, as a mentor, to buy your services, whatever it is that you offer, right? That's an extra two, three, four, five clients, potential clients a week. How would that change your business? To get two, three, four, five potential clients a week to get on the call and have and have conversations with them, right? A couple of thousand bucks a week, that's a hundred thousand dollars. But it's the consistent action that sometimes gets in the way. One of the hardest things to do in life is doing simple things consistently. Right? So every week, get all the tools that are available to you right now. Come and join us for um, an influencer circle. Meet with people to see what we have for you in the store, and uh, and keep just looking for stages, landing stages, and um, and just grow and expand your business. All right, absolutely brilliant. Love it. Um, and a lot of a uh, lot of gems in this. So go back, rewatch it, take those notes that uh, he was talking about with all the landing pages and the. Well, um, the confirmation page, there's so many gems in here for you to, to play with. So, uh, th thank you, Iman, uh, for being, uh, in, on, as a guest to one of your creations here. I love that. And, uh, uh, this is a, uh, a program that we do once a week, uh, an EIN training with an, um, expert in the area of business building, monetization, relationship building, the whole, the whole gamut of the topics that we need to be successful and online and to transform people's lives. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to be here live for those of you that are here live and the time for you to watch the recording. Just make sure you come back every week because we have a new guest that we'll be introducing you to. And so with that being said, Iman, appreciate you, man. Love you, pal. And thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for having me. Bye. Bye-bye.